Hello guys, in this video, we will see how can we provide our surveyor with this data so that he can easily set up on the site. Okay, so let's go ahead to our model space. Okay, so here we have uh, the culvert. So let's go ahead and remove these first. One of these, let me, let me, let me just remove one of these first. Okay. So let's go ahead I remove this one. This one is actually exported uh, so that they can, you know, actually use in the GPS and uh, easily so it. So let's go ahead and create a point. These, these are all created points, you know, and you actually, actually these, these are very precise. You know, I have uh, from the sections, I have, it is a projected part, so it should be exactly the same length as it is here and this is uh, this is this is you know this q this is this is the sample line that's sampling and creating the section automatically from this part to here okay this okay so let's go ahead and create a point so how do we do that we go to the home and here in the points menu point creation tools and here you choose directly click on this or you just drag uh, click on the drop down here you have manual as a default method okay so just we can uh, press on this manual and then then wherever you want it so i want exactly here to be set out so i just select it and when i select it you know it asks for the description so uh maybe i say culvert five by five okay five by five or maybe i say Twin culvert five by five. Twin culvert five by five. Okay, whatever you like, it depends upon you. Okay, so and and it asks for the elevation for this particular setting out. I just need x y. Okay, so elevation you just keep it zero. Okay, that's all. So here you have a point displayed. Okay, but and it continues to ask. You can, uh, you know, put more points. Okay, but that's for now for the demonstration. So I just click hit enter or hit escape. Okay, so I hit escape. So now I, we don't see anything. So why it is like this? Because of this style. Okay, so let's go ahead and we check uh, here. It's in the tool space. This is set to toolbox. Go to the perspective first. And let's see, we have all points. And how many points? The only one point that I created because it was export drawing, as I already told you. So now we, we create a style for this. So let's go ahead, right click, right click on the all point properties, this group. Okay, right click and you will have properties, click on that. And here you see the point level style is set to none. So there's no level displayed here, only the point style. So we can change this point style as well, you know, from here you can just uh, edit it. If you want this standard style to be edited, then you can just see it from that. But I don't think that's a good practice. You always create, you know, copy of the current selection or a new style, you know, create new. So better, I, what I do is copy of current selection. And then you can, first you go to the information tab and name it, you know, so whatever you want to know, I will keep it as it is. And here, if you go to the another tab, information, after information tab, there's a marker tab. So how this point will be displayed, you can set from that. Okay, it's custom use custom marker so like this or you if you if i click another one you see so it shows you the preview how it will appear this is good but maybe this would be better but if you keep selecting others will also be highlighted so i deselect this one you click again and deselect this okay and the size you see this is pretty big you can reduce the size control the size from this option so it's 2.5 mm and this looks big so we can what we can make it in two years uh, maybe we say it's uh, 0.5 mm okay that will be enough okay so this is all about the setting of the marker style you can even you can even change the display from the display tab it's black i will keep it black okay you can change to another one as well so for now i just create okay okay and now for the level you have it's actually exported from civil 3d so you don't have a option for easting northing there are templates where you have options for easting northing is point level style directly but no problem we can create it as well so we can create new okay 
so we, we maybe we select the standard and then we select drop down and then create copy create selection okay current selection and okay copy the selection is copied and it will pop up a window showing this one so i will still keep the standard copy okay name a standard copy and in the general uh you can have these options but for this particular we'll go to the layout and again the layout is when it is not in a you know directly displayed let me show you how you know first it's a point number is only here okay so we display the point number you see it's only point number you have other options to display here so do we need point number okay let's let's go ahead and do this stuff first we display point number uh we don't need point number for this one so we need what we need easting okay easting and northing so here you have easting so let's let's write first e for easting and uh, colon and then you know select this easting easting and you, you can you can from here you can set precisions as well and even the unit so i keep the unit precision to one it's not you know like to three decimals okay three decimals and keep the rest of the options as default and press on this one so that it will come here okay so press and then you have the set. now i also want the northing this thing so hit enter and space hit enter or just hit enter it will go to the another line and then i need what i need is no things no nothing so i plus n and the colon and then go to uh, draw click on the drop down and then we'll select nothing and again you can you know precision set the precision i will set to three decimals and again click this button here and now you have the format ready it will display in everything and nothing okay so let's go ahead and change to these. These are the properties. Now let's see the format. You know, the, you have this font here and also the color you can set. I will leave it to default black, you know, and then, okay. So now you, this displays how it will be, you know. So what you have here, point number, how many components you have? Three components in this one. First one, the number component, I actually changed to the point number component. You can, you can, you can change the name from here you know just click on the point number and you can change you can say like northing just say easting and northing just en you can say like that as well if you it, it depends upon you okay and then other point elevation do we need that this component we don't need so just cross and then you it will delete the you know you said the preview you will be able to see it. also we don't need a description right now here so we just delete this description too now you have only two okay and from here you can set the size text size as well so we keep it to three or maybe whatever whatever fits your requirements you just experiment with this okay and the rotation angles and everything you can set again here you have another you know without going to that particular description uh co contains uh, dialog box you know in this you you have the option to select the format and colors but um, from here as well you can set a few things and even can set the border for the text okay we will keep it as default so let's say and say apply okay and just say apply again so here you will have when let, let's just zoom oh we can't zoom unless we click okay we click okay and then let's zoom out zoom out okay so here you have this so slightly bigger than this maybe this is 0.5 i think i set it to 0.5 earlier so you can again change it so but now let's see another thing so it's it's uh it's in another state it's just here you know stacked uh let, let, let's let's drag it if i want to drag this is the point for per marker okay drag the marker but this is for the text level so when we hover over this you say move re move level and rotate level so i want to move level so this I select that and then try to move it. Move. Okay. So here you have the form. Okay. So again, another aspect I would uh, like to tell you about the point right now is we select this and uh, let's go click this one and then go to the properties. Uh, maybe even you don't select it, doesn't matter. It just depends upon the group properties. Okay. So properties. 
and we say in this the point level style click this to edit the point level style property and then uh, style and then 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 what we can do is uh, we can reduce the size of this okay reduce let's do I, I want to do it 0.5 okay 0.5 okay you see preview it's like this okay we say apply apply okay but do you see it does not change why why it did not change so there's a thing to it now it's in drag state and it's not in layout is it? okay so let's go again to the properties and we will see this and the properties point properties we will see again go to the edit point level style and and this is in layout we should go to the drag state so from here now when it is you have dragged the point level this controls the you know properties of the drag this is how it will be stressed you see still it's 3.5 okay 3.00 mm okay so what we can do is is now from here we can reduce the size okay 0.5 and that's all that's all you just apply okay and apply let's see the change okay it's 0.5 it's quite small so we can make it bigger just drag a state and maybe it's a 1.5 i think uh, how much it was i did it no another pc okay part and uh, you see this one is bold okay you can make it bold as well how again go to the point level style properties everything you can control everything for this one so from uh, here you can go to the layout and then we select this this you know contents what contents we need contents and then then content select all the contents and 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 and, and then the format we go to the format and you say here you have these parts to make it bold you see it changes automatically when you just click it instantly it changes instantly to bold okay and then apply okay so this is now bold so this is the way you can uh you can you can display you know uh this and, and you see here earlier i put it into the two decimals as my surveyor but more if you want more precise i recommend it to three decimals okay and again uh, there is another thing you can do it here you see this part this part this part you see the leader stops here outside you know okay how can i move this leader to this and also you wouldn't I, I can i change the leader also yes we can do that certainly how let's go ahead again the magic lies in the properties okay so let's go ahead and um, see the point properties properties and uh, let's uh, point change the point level style and i told you there's an easy method to do it okay let, let me let me let me so that you can see it as well we can uh, drag it over here so where it is in the point style point style how it will be so let's change it you know uh and and go to the summary i told you there are more so marker properties go to the marker and here you see there's option leader stops at marker and it says yes okay so marker this is the marker and the reader stops here okay so we say no don't you stop here no don't you stop there okay and then it won't stop it go till that point okay so just say okay apply and you see apply so you are able to see it moves it moved okay and what if i don't want this uh, you know boring uh, the sign so what i can do is this is actually the part of the level so we go from the point level style and uh, and click again to the click and the component one this is component one so component one uh, in the drag state i think yeah drag state you can see this head head style cross field you can say dot okay and this dot is bigger you know the head size you, you can you can control the head size this is the big you know you can control from here how much you want so maybe i say 0.5 okay and the dot as a dot this one is uh it's not visible in this okay point style uh point style not, not visible in this so you say apply and say okay and say apply okay so you see this one 
is very easy okay and uh, sometimes surveyor prefers this style so so guys this is that for all the videos and, uh, and and let's go for the bonus one let's go to the layout view here and i'll show you something cool feature of the civil 3d it's very easy here so here this is a, a road alignment and uh, you have the culvert here so we don't know which in the north you know it has been aligned to fit in this particular viewport it has been aligned to fit in this viewport so i need a north if i mark north point here it would be great right it would be really great so what can i do to mark north so go in this in the civil 3d you have a straight forward option very easy option okay so in the layout, uh, when you are in layout, this option will pop out. The layout tools, you go to the layout tools and you will have option to add north. So just from north, I, I pick up my favorite one. I will drag down and this one, I love this. This is quite simpler and this one also, I like it. But for this, let's put some stylish one. So now it says select a viewport per north view, okay? So we select this viewport, this viewport okay it's selected not yet okay so we have selected when we have selected it's uh, it's there so just 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 click somewhere disable your uh, snap as it can mess up with the place where you really want to float it okay so just click somewhere inside and you see it's very small okay you select it very small you select it and and then go to the properties you scale it so how much or, or you can zoom and scale also you know you can zoom in, zoom to that particular point and, and and select it and say st for the scale and uh, here you need uh, you need the snap turn on snap by pressing f3 okay and and snap to the center and then 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 zoom out zoom out zoom out and you see just fit the size whatever you want uh, i would say this one is fine okay and click okay so this is fine if you want to make it you know more rounded you know like uh, the scale exact scale so you select this and go to the properties and here you'll see it's uh, 800 something so maybe you can make it to uh, maybe 900 so just say 900 and 900 to all this let's just say 900 in x y and z all okay so 900 to all of these and this is how you put a nice you know north there okay so this is all for this video guys and see you in the next video till then enjoy if you find this video useful then please like subscribe and comment share with your friends thanks